Hey Jessica, can you believe it? Christmas is coming up and guess who's conveniently absent when I need some help with the cleaning and preparations. Oh right, it's you, the shining example of a useless and irresponsible daughter. Mom, I've explained this to you already. I have work and today is not my day off. I can't just abandon everything at the office to be at home and assist you with the chores. If there's something you specifically need me to do, I'll handle it once I'm back home, all right? Wow, you're just a total waste, aren't you? Who in their right mind works when there's only one month left until Christmas? You must be absolutely broke, am I right? But let me make one thing crystal clear. No matter how poor and pathetic you are, don't expect an ounce of sympathy from me. Got that loud and clear? You're turning into such a rebellious little brat, young lady. Anyway, enough about your sorry existence. Look, do you even have a clue what year it is? Um, not exactly, no. Oh, really? You mean to tell me that you, as a sister, don't even have a clue about what year it is? It's absolutely mind-boggling how you can be so clueless and insensitive towards your own family's feelings. I seriously question whether you ever cared about us at all. Shame on you, Jessica. Well, it's not like anyone in this family ever bothers to care about my feelings anyway. Hey, let me fill you in on something pretty remarkable about your lovely big sister Camille. This happens to be the year when she hits the big 2-5. It's a major milestone in her life, you know. Can you see just how special that is? And? And what's so extraordinary about that? I honestly can't see anything remotely special. Unless, of course, you're referring to the fact that it's been three whole years of her glorious unemployment and counting. <laughs> oh, and let's not forget that we all... Oh, and let's not forget we already celebrated her 25th birthday back in June. It's November now, in case you've lost track of time. Did I read that correctly? How dare you have the audacity to mock your own big sister and for not being able to secure a job? She's simply going through a streak of bad luck, that's all. There's absolutely no need for you to use such harsh and hurtful words. All right, all right, whatever. It's not like Camille put in any real effort to actually get a job or anything. Wow. Look at the condescending attitude you're flaunting, you despicable woman. Do you honestly believe you're superior to everyone else just because you're toiling away at some mind-numbing job? Newsflash, you're nothing more than a second-rate citizen, so quit deluding yourself with your self-importance. And what exactly is your point here? Listen. I'm putting together a Christmas gift list for everyone, and I'm kind of stuck when it comes to your sister's gift. Mind giving me a hand? Well, what's there to think about? She's probably into getting a new phone, some fancy makeup sets, or those trendy new clothes everyone's talking about. Just pick one of those things and you'll be good to go. Oh, you're such a joke. Jessica. Who asked you to give me ideas on how to choose gifts for your sister? Listen up. I've already got a crystal clear vision of what to give her. I simply need you to assist me with the financial aspect. Got it? Financial aspect? Why? Is it some insanely expensive gift or what? <laughs> you bet. Remember that dreamy, luxury car Camille has been longing for all this time? Well... I'm planning on surprising her with exactly that. What do you think? It'll be the most incredible gift she's ever laid eyes on. Don't you agree? Oh my god. That luxury car? Do you have any clue how crazy expensive that is? I really hope you're not being serious about this. Please, please tell me you're just pulling my leg. Does it seem like I'm joking to you? Of course not. You imbecile. I'm deadly serious about this, so 
pay attention. Do you even comprehend how significant this year is for Camille? She's turned 25, which means she's officially an adult and won't be clinging to mommy and daddy anymore. Before you know it, she'll be getting married and having kids and living her own life. If I can't get something right for your sister before she leaves this house, I'll be regretting it for the rest of my life. That's why I have to go above and beyond to make this year extra special for Camille. Can you even comprehend that concept? Huh, dimwit? Okay, I see. But please don't tell me you expect me to chip in with the money to buy that extravagant car Camille wants. That's just not happening. It's totally out of the question. Hey, how many times do I have to drill it into your thick skull not to talk back to your own parents? Clearly, going to work and making money is the only thing you're remotely capable of. So why don't you actually be useful for once and cough up some cash so that your precious big sister can have her dream car, huh? I mean, you're Camille's sister, aren't you? Try doing something that actually brings her a speck of joy instead of constantly being envious of her. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Fine, I guess I can contribute a certain amount of money. Just tell me, how much do you need me to pitch in exactly? Oh, you're clearly misunderstanding here. Darling, I'm not merely suggesting you contribute. I actually expect you to foot the bill for the entire car, you know? Don't even think about getting away with anything less. What? You honestly expect me to shell out the entire cost of the car from my own pocket? Come on, this is absolute madness. Do you think I'm some kind of money-making machine or what? It's just not realistic. <laughs> wow, look who's back. The one and only Jessica, the master of avoiding responsibility. First, you conveniently forgot to help with the housework because your oh-so-important job demands all your precious time. And now, surprise, surprise, you're telling me you can't even pay for your car for your sister's Christmas gift? Really, Jessica? Is there anything you won't find an excuse for? I just love how you manage to shirk your duties as a family member at every turn. It's truly impressive. But hey, don't forget, you owe me and your dad big time. We didn't go through all the trouble of raising you just to have an utterly useless child in return. So maybe it's time you start pulling your weight and stop being such a disappointment. Oh, what do you look at that? Here comes the expert on financial independence and self-sustainability, ready to lecture someone who actually works for a living. It's truly remarkable how the person who relies on others for their every financial need has the audacity to criticize someone who's out there making money. I'm sorry, Mom. I can't help but chuckle at the sheer delusion here. It's like we've entered a parallel universe where logic and reality no longer apply. <laughs> wow, seriously? You've got some nerve mocking your own mother now. Bravo! You're a real winner, aren't you? Such a fantastic daughter, I must say. Let me tell you something, sweetheart. Giving birth to you was the worst mistake I ever made. I could have had any other amazing, gorgeous kids. But no, fate had to curse me with an ugly and worthless child like you. Thanks a lot, Lord. You know what? It's pathetic excuses for human beings like you that make women lose all hope in having kids. And guess what? It's also losers like you that contribute to the aging population becoming a serious issue in the world. So congratulations on being a scum of society. Ugh. Can you please quit with the constant whining already? It's giving me a massive headache, you know? Anyway, I've got a question for you. Do you really want me to buy that car for Camille? Obviously. That's what I've been trying to tell you this whole time, duh. Are you seriously telling me that you still haven't figured out what you should do? How clueless can you be? 
It's like taking to a brick wall with you. You won't even care about the price or anything like that, right? Of course not. Why on earth would I even give a single thought to the dumb price tag of the car? It's all on you, right? You're the one who's going to waste their money on it. So it's totally your responsibility to handle all that boring stuff for me. All I care about is that my super amazing daughter Camille gets to have her precious car on Christmas Day. Period. No more discussion needed. Got it? Alrighty. I gotcha. I'll totally hook Camille up with that fancy schmancy car she's been dreaming of. No worries. Consider it done. Oh my gosh. Like for real? That's my amazing daughter right there. I always knew you'd come through for me. You have no idea how insanely proud I am of you. Like it's off the charts. Jessica, are you seriously out of your mind? What the hell possessed you to pull off such a batshit insane stunt? Uh, excuse me? I honestly have no clue what you're going on about, Mom. Oh, now you're pretending to be all innocent, huh? Cut the crap and stop faking it because we all know you're far from innocent. You know damn well what you did to Camille during our Christmas get-together, don't you? Oh, pray tell. What exactly did I do? Please, enlighten me. Because apparently I have some serious memory issues. Or maybe it's because I laughed so hard that it fried my brain to a crisp. <laughs> you had the audacity to give Camille a freaking toy car instead of the real deal? And now she's beyond pissed off and humiliated, locking herself in her room and for refusing to eat all day yesterday. Did you actually want to embarrass your own sister in front of everyone? Is that what you aimed for, huh? How could you even think of doing something so awful when you know how much I love and adore her? You truly deserve to experience the cruelest punishments from the medieval era. Well, can't you see? I did exactly what you told me to do. I gave Camille her favorite car, which I bought with my own money. What else do you want from me? Can't you grasp the simplest thing? You got her a freaking toy car. I specifically asked you to buy Camille a real one, not that worthless piece of trash. Did it even occur to you how thrilled and excited she was? She was all pumped up, eager to flaunt her brand new fancy car to her friends and family. She even dolled up with makeup and everything. She thought there'd be a car key hidden under that box you gave her. But no, all of her joy and happiness instantly vanished when she opened that damn gift package of yours and found nothing but a toy car. You've completely shattered her from within. You know that? You should be utterly ashamed of yourself. <laughs> what a memorable moment, right? Honestly, she should consider herself lucky that I even bothered to give her a decent gift. Let's face it. She's never given me anything. Not on my birthday, not on Christmas. So tell me, why the heck should I feel ashamed for actually giving your spoiled brat of a daughter something for Christmas? I could have easily chosen to give her nothing, you know? Decent gift? Are you kidding me? You practically handed her a piece of garbage. Explain to me. How on earth could you even contemplate doing something so despicable to your own sister? Is it because you're consumed by jealousy towards her? Or is it because you're filled with so much hatred for not receiving anything from us for Christmas? Ugh, me? Jealous of Camille? Wow, you really think she's some kind of superstar, huh? Let me burst your bubble. But I've never, ever wanted to be like Camille in my entire life. The mere idea of becoming a worthless loser like her gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> no thanks. Oh, you should be so grateful that you're even related to Camille and get to inhale the same air as her. You know what? Consider yourself dead to me. Did you hear that loud and clear? From this moment forward, you're no longer my daughter. I only acknowledge Camille as my one and only. In my eyes, you're nothing but worthless scum. You might as well vanish from our lives completely. 
this house has no place for you. Be gone, you wicked spirit. No matter how much you try, you'll never be a part of us. Hey, you pathetic loser. You really thought you could embarrass me and bring me down with your childish tricks? Well, let me tell you something. You're dead wrong. Your actions reek of nothing but selfishness and jealousy. But guess what? I'm one lucky duck because mom and dad always have my back. So enjoy your little delusions while I continue to thrive, loser. Oh, really? Good for you, though. Oh, is that the best you've got, Scatterbrain? Well, let me enlighten your feeble mind with some fantastic news. Mom and Dad just purchased the luxury car I've been drooling over. <laughs> How's that for a reality check, you bitter old hag? Enjoy your jealousy. Wait, what? Are you saying this for real? Oh, believe me. I'm telling you the cold, hard truth. Do you honestly think I have time to waste joking around with someone like you? As a matter of fact, I'm holding the car key in my hand right this very moment. It's an exquisite and profoundly significant gift from mom and dad. Don't you think? I genuinely feel like this car was meant for me. It's as if it's destined to be mine or something. To be honest, Camille, I'm still struggling to wrap my head around what you just said. It's kind of hard to believe, you know? Oh my god. How dense can you be, you old hag? Look, I just posted a fresh picture on Instagram. Take a good look and try to recognize me sitting pretty in my brand new car. It's not that hard, even for someone as clueless as you. This is just insane, Camille. Listen, you have no idea what you're talking about, okay? Have you ever paused for a moment to consider where the heck mom and dad could have possibly gotten that kind of money from? And why the heck should I even bother with those petty details? All that matters to me is that I now possess this incredible brand new luxury car. And let me tell you something. All my friends are seething with envy when I cruise around in this gorgeous babe. I'm like a freaking magnet drawing all the attention in the world right now, baby. If I'm being honest, I'm a bit worried about you and our parents at the moment. Worried? <laughs> like I need your pathetic concern. You should be the one fretting over your own sorry existence instead of wasting time poking your nose into other people's affairs. Let me enlighten you. It's only a matter of time before our parents boot your sorry butt out of this house and leave you to fend for your utterly useless self. So, enjoy your delusions while they last. Kick me out? That's a good one. Just so you know, I'm perfectly capable of moving out on my own. Thank you very much. There's no need for you to play puppeteer and force me out. In fact, it's been my plan for ages to get away from this toxic family. Who in their right mind would want to stick around with this bunch of toxicity for even one more minute? Certainly not me. Oh, really? Bravo. I'm glad that you finally acknowledged your own worthlessness and decided to move out. At least then your evil aura won't have a negative impact on the people around you. Gosh, I can't even begin to imagine how difficult it must have been for mom and dad to tolerate a useless slob like you all these years. It's a freaking miracle that they haven't fallen into a deep depression or something. Hey Camille, I'm only going to say this once. So listen up with that little pea-sized brain of yours, okay? The truth is, you're the one who's the loser around here. Excuse me? What did you just say? You're the parasite, leeching off our parents and living the freeloader life? Take a good hard look at yourself in the damn mirror. You're already 25 years old and haven't bothered to get a job since you graduated college. So let's be real here. Between the two of us, who's the real parasite, huh? What's going on? Why are you being so rude to me? This isn't like you at all. This isn't the Jessica I know. You would never say such hurtful things to your own sister. Well, here's a newsflash for you. 
This is indeed the real Jessica you're talking to. It seems like you get a kick out of bullying me just because you think mom and dad will always be there to shield your cowardly self. Huh? Ah, oh, Camille. You have no idea how much I've had to hold myself back from giving that pretty face of yours a little rearranging. Jessica, are you... Uh- Are you even aware of what you're saying? How could you casually talk about physically harming me like that? It's terrifying to hear you speak in such a cold and violent manner. You're acting like some kind of gang member or something. I've always wondered, what did I ever do to deserve such mistreatment from you? I used to think maybe it was because you were still figuring yourself out during your younger years, and that as you grew older, you'd learn to manage your emotions better. But now, I've come to the realization that you're nothing but an entitled, spoiled brat who desperately needs a reality check. Hey, watch your words there, you old hag. You better choose them carefully. I might as well consider calling the cops on you and let them handle you in jail. Well, well, Camille, I highly doubt it'll be me who ends up behind bars, but hey, We'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Anyway, let's wrap up this pointless conversation right here. I've got more things. I've got more important things to attend to. Goodbye, Camille. Jessica, where the hell are you hiding? I know you're lurking around, so playing the ignore game with my texts and calls won't get you anywhere. Hey, you. Your mama is desperately trying to get a hold of you, and you're just going to act all obvious like nothing happened? Oh, come on. Give me a break. Why do you keep blowing up my phone like that? Excuse me? I'm your mama. Does a mother really need a specific reason to reach out to her child? So now you're all of a sudden my mom again? Remember what you said to me when I was getting ready to move out of the house? You screamed in my face telling me that you'd never see me as your daughter anymore, and that I should have died in some dark alley like a rat or something. So tell me, what's the point of all this harassment now? What? You're accusing me of harassing you? As your oh-so-loving mother, I have every damn right to contact you whenever I please. In fact, you should be grateful that your mama even bothers to give you the slightest bit of attention. Oh, really? I hate to burst your bubble, but I don't need that kind of attention in my life. So, bye bye Wait, hold on. Don't leave just yet, please. Jessica, there's something really important I need to talk to you about. Mama is begging you here. I feel trapped and I honestly have no idea how to handle this insane situation. Ugh, I had a feeling. I knew you only reached out because something went wrong. You know what? As much as I despise talking to you, I must admit, it's quite intriguing to witness how your life has crumbled. (laughs) So, spill it. What happened this time? Huh? Hold on a sec. What you just said is downright rude and disrespectful, young lady. No one should ever speak to their own family like that. You're acting like a total barbarian, you know that? If that's how you feel, then I guess I'll just peace out. Bye, Eunice. No, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, stop messing me with like that. You're giving me mini heart attacks here. It's already a challenge to get you to pick up the phone. All right, so pay attention. Your big sister, Camille, is in some serious trouble. Oh, really? Even though this is the first I'm hearing about it, it feels like ancient news to me. I kind of had a feeling that something bad would go down. (laughs) Wait, how do you know? Okay, listen. This time it's really, really bad. Do you still remember that car I got for Camille? Yeah? What's with that? You know what? I didn't actually pay for the whole car with my own money. A big chunk of it came from both mine and dad's savings, and I even had to borrow from the bank. We haven't fully paid for it yet, either. It's on some installment plan. Oh, okay. (laughs) That's just fantastic to hear. You'd really go to such great lengths just to fulfill your precious, 
spoiled daughter's dumb dream, huh? I must say, I'm truly moved by the greatness of your motherly love. Such a touching display. Could you please stop with the constant mockery for once? This is all your fault. It's because you had to go and give her that stupid toy car, which only ended up making my daughter upset. Seriously? When did you turn into such a terrible and obnoxious person? I don't recall raising you to be like this. Uh, the problem is, you never really raised me at all. And honestly, it's a blessing that I didn't turn you out like you. Or anyone else in our lovely little family. Fine. Fine. You win, okay? Listen up. Something totally unexpected happened. The car? Camille? She got it crashed. Wait. What? She managed to crash that ridiculously expensive car? Oh my. This just keeps getting more entertaining by the second. Dang, I knew I should have grabbed some popcorn for this show. Hey, don't say it if it is if it's some kind of joke or entertainment. Camille, she was driving way too fast and ended up crashing into someone else's car by accident. And now, the owner of that car is demanding compensation from us. They even want Camille to go to jail for what happened. Can you believe it? Your dear sister's future is on the line here. Please do something to help her. Please. Oh, really? You know what? That whole thing sounds super familiar to me. Wasn't it just three days ago? Yes. How did you know about that? Oops. Sorry about that. I totally forgot to mention something to you. My husband actually works at the court. Recently, he received a complaint from a plaintiff who explained how their car was badly damaged while parked on the side of the street. Here's the crazy part. It turns out there's this girl named Camille who was driving under the influence and ended up crashing into the plaintiff's car. Initially, I didn't pay much attention to it, but guess what? The wild driver was none other than my own big sis, Camille. Can you imagine? It really makes you realize how small our world can be, doesn't it? <laughs> Hold up. Wait a sec. Did you just say you're married? When the heck did that happen? But hey, forget about that for now. The real deal is your hubby working at the court? Seriously? Yep, it's true. I recently got married to a judge. The wedding was really nice, and we had a lot of people there. Well, almost everyone. Except for my so-called precious family. You know... The ones who were more than happy to kick me out of my own house? What? Your hubby is a judge? That's actually awesome news. You should totally ask him to help your sis out of this sticky situation. You know? I mean, he's your husband, which means he's part of our family now. I bet he'd be more than thrilled to lend a helping hand. Whoa, whoa. Hold up. Did I just hear you right? Family? One of us? Oh, that's a good one, Eunice. Snap out of your fantasy world. I stopped seeing you as family ages ago. So, now it's all on you to handle the colossal mess that your oh-so-loving daughter caused. And let me tell you, the amount you'll have to cop up for compensation will be astronomical. Goodbye. And good luck dealing with the consequences of your dear daughter's actions. Why are you saying it like that? You can't just do this to me. To us? Come on, Jessica. Please, help us out. Jessica? My mom completely lost it after our last conversation. She went to great lengths to find out where I live, even resorting to contacting my friends and relatives. Thankfully, they were never fond of my mom and gladly kept my house address a secret from her. Eventually, my sister ended up in jail and had to pay a hefty sum as compensation for causing extensive damage to someone's car due to her reckless behavior. Needless to say, Camille couldn't afford such a huge amount of money 
That's when my parents had to sell their house to assist her with the payment. Moreover, they still had outstanding car expenses and loans to the bank, leaving them with very little money to even buy a modest home. Despite being completely against it, my mom had no choice but to find any job she could to help my dad cover our daily expenses. It's crazy to think that none of this would have happened if they hadn't spoiled my sister so much. 